Hiya, I thought I might do a bit of photography this time on the video. Um, a few people have been asking me about how I do my self takes and uh, you know how to get the best results and all the rest of it and I thought it just might be nice to help a few people out and do a little video. First of all I suppose you, you know, you're interested in what camera kit I'm using. Um, it's nothing expensive to be honest with you, um, it really isn't. Um, I got given this camera off my dad, he loves his photography. Um, he does a lot of travelling. He's, he takes some brilliant scenic type shots and landscapes when he's, uh, you know, when he's on his travels. Um, he really has had some fantastic results with this camera, but he's upgraded now and uh, he's, he's let me have this one. Um, it's a Canon 400D. Um, it's a digital SLR. Um, as you can see, I've got a battery pack on the bottom there. Um, basically, just gives me more power and I can get more shots out of the batteries. Um, I've got a, a lens on there that's a, 50, that's a fixed 50mm lens. Um, the standard lens is like a, an 18 to 55 that you'd use normally or that might come with the camera. Um, the reason I use this fixed 50mm fixed lens is basically because it goes, uh, you can actually go down a, a smaller f number on the aperture with this lens. Um, and you can get some pretty cool effects on your capture shots. You know, you, you might have seen the pictures before where you've got, uh, you know, the fish and the angler, you know, very sharp in focus, and all the backgrounds very, very blurred. It gives a really nice effect. And uh, this is the lens that I use for this. So, uh, right, you might be wondering about the wires that are hanging out the side of this camera. I'll just talk you through that. Basically, I've got two wires plugged into the side of it. Um, I've tried quite a few capture shots and I've, I've used the, um, the, the remote that you can get with these cameras which is wireless. Um, to be honest I can't really get on with it. I've, I've found that you've got to hold it in the exact position. I find it a bit tricky to hold the fish and the, and the remote at the same time. Um, I've had some nice results. It looks alright on the picture but really I'm thinking I'm flapping basically every time I use it and I'm not really happy with it so I found, found an alternative. This is an intervalometer. Basically I can set this up to take 400 pictures or 399 as I don't know if you can see on the screen there. Um, 399 pictures, I can set the interval between pictures, um, I can set the delay on that as well um, and it's a brilliant remote. I can press the one button on this and that camera will keep taking pictures of me and the fish for however long, however long I want really. Um, obviously you're going to get some bad ones on there when the camera's just taking shots if the fish flips and all the rest of it but you just delete them with it being digital it's no problem. Um, so that's that. <clears throat> just plugs into the side of the camera as I say. Some cameras, some of the newer ones, are, you know more expensive models might come with that built in I'm not sure. Um, I think they might have something similar to that but uh, just to give you some kind of an idea, I think that's about 12 quid. Um, I think I got it off Amazon. 12 quid, it's at your house next day or something. Can't go wrong. Right, the other wire that's hanging out, <coughs> excuse me, that's basically a USB cable. Um, that's the one that you plug into your computer to download all your pictures off the camera. Right, the reason I've got it plugged into the camera now is because I've got a little gadget here. Um, I'll show you in a sec. Um, it's basically an application for my phone. <coughs> um, and because I haven't got a screen on this camera that flips round so that I can see what I'm taking pictures of, you know, I can see myself basically while I'm holding the fish, um, this gets round that problem. So I've got the USB lead plugged into the side of the camera and I've got a little gadget here. This is called a USB host cable. Um, <coughs> basically, it allows you to plug your main USB cable that you normally go into your computer goes into the host cable, if I get it the right way around and then the smaller end now will go into my phone so if I just open up the phone I'm just going to enable flight mode because uh, people keep trying to contact me while I'm making a video Right, so little cable there goes straight into the bottom of the phone. As you can see, I'm quite lucky really because this phone 
Uh, it's a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. It's quite a big phone, um, which means I've got a big screen to look at when I'm using the camera. Turn the camera on, and the application should come alive on the phone. And I'm just going to move myself so that you can see the phone better. Right, and I can go through the settings here. And I can put on the settings, I can put image review, follow, shot. Really good this application is. So I can't actually see real time everything. But with this model of camera, the application lets me see the picture as soon as it's taken. So it's waiting for a picture now. So if I just take a picture of a few bushes over there and a wasteling and stuff, you'll see a picture appear on the phone. Just about see that I think on the camera. Um, so basically I can set my tripod up right distance away from the fish and all the rest of it. Every time the camera takes a picture I can see on the phone what is taken. If I need to move myself left or I need to move myself right, um, I can do that. And as it takes more pictures, I can make sure you know I get it right, basically. So that's how I do that. Um, a mate of mine, Callum, who's a professional photographer, told me about this application. Um, I think you can get it for quite a few different phones, um, but just check that it's compatible with your camera. On some of the on some of the newer cameras, you can use that. Um, application and you can see real time so you can see what you what you're going to take rather than what you've taken um, just depends what camera you've got basically so I'm going to run through now um, exactly how I set it up um, because this fixed 50 lens you have to be a little bit further away with than you would normally with a with a zoom lens and everything um, so I'm going to talk you through setting it up um, and you can see how I get the results basically. Right, as I say, I like to shoot in AV mode, so I'm just going to make sure that's on AV at the top. Um, you can see your F number there, that is the, the size of your aperture. You can see that going up and down as they adjust it. Um, I like to keep that on F2.8. Um, when you're in this mode, you're, you're selecting the aperture. Basically, the camera's looking after the shutter speed and everything, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, that's it, it's all set up. Everything's ready now. I've got the phone just on this bucket underneath the, underneath the camera. Um, it's not in the shot, obviously. Um, that'll just sit on there, and I can see it from uh, the unhooking mat. Uh, basically, all I need to do now is I need to press go on the intervalometer camera will start taking pictures and I can check whether I'm uh, the right distance away from the camera, um, if the camera is too high, too low. Basically I'm, uh, I'm aiming at the camera being pretty much level with the fish. You don't want the camera looking down at the fish, you don't want the camera looking up, or you get some strange effects, you know. Um, try and keep it level if you can. Like I say, I'll press go on this. And we'll see what we get on the uh, on the phone. Right, everything's set up. As you can see, it takes a little bit of uh, getting used to. Sometimes you have to move left, sometimes right, sometimes back, forward. Um, but taking that little bit of time over it uh, will get you the better pictures. Uh, another thing I've not mentioned before is uh, the flash for the camera. Um, if the light's fading a little bit, like it is now, 
or at night, you will need a good flash for your camera. Uh, I think this was about 100 quid off eBay. This was a Canon one. You can get cheaper models if you want. Um, but having the external flash gun, um, fit that on your camera, dead easy to fit. Slide it on there, screw it down. Uh, that's ready to go. You will get a lot better pictures at night. Um, if we have a little recap, uh, like I say, I got given this camera. Um, I think you can buy these body only for 100 quid. Um, lens, fixed 50 millimeter to get those lovely blurred out backgrounds and all the rest of it. Again, about 50 quid, I think. Um, I've got the battery pack on there. You don't need that at all. Um, that's just because I seem to take a lot of pictures and it's good for me. Uh, tram tripod's really important. Um, these weigh quite a bit. I think I weighed all this actually with the battery pack, the camera, um, with one of my bigger lenses, I think a zoom lens, and the flash and everything. I think it weighs about four and a half kilos. Um, this tripod uh, will keep up to five kilos, rock steady in the wind, everything. Um, so that's well worth investing in. Um, you don't want a tripod that's going to, you know, move around while you're taking shots, so you'll end up with loads of blurred pictures. Um, application for the phone, like I say, I think I bought the application for about a fiver. Um, you can get this cable, the USB host cable, um, get one that matches your phone, plug straight into any USB on the other end, get that cable off Amazon for about a fiver, I think. It may have been a bit less than that actually. Intervalometer, which is quite useful. Like I say, you don't need to worry about remotes. Press go on this. I take the pictures every five seconds. Press go on that, you just leave it um, when you're ready, you know, when you're confident that you've got the right shots and you just press stop on it and delete the ones that you don't want. Simple as that really. Like I say, that's I think that's about 12 quid. So you know, I've not gone out and spent 600 quid on a camera to get good pictures. That's uh, basically what I'm saying. You don't have to do that. You shop around, you can get bits and pieces from eBay or Amazon. Um, you don't need to spend the earth to get good pictures. Hope it's helped you a little bit. See you next time.